The ACLU and other activist groups are protesting a bill that would increase penalties for rioting or looting in North Carolina. The bill would charge people with a felony for causing significant property damage or serious bodily harm during a riot. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman joins us live after finding out why some critics call it the anti-Black Lives Matter bill. Bridget. Yeah, Russ, this bill comes after those protests here in downtown Raleigh turned into riots. And those for the bill say it protects the community, business owners, and law enforcement. But those against the bill say that it directly targets the black and brown community. <laughs> Windows smashed, buildings burned, and people assaulted. That's what protests amounted to last year in downtown Raleigh. Like so many other North Carolinians, I saw the destruction that happened last year with with you know what was not protest but what became riots looting uh, assaults. Which is why Republican House Speaker Tim Moore sponsored House Bill 805. It creates tougher punishments for rioters. Causing damage, bodily harm, or assaulting emergency personnel during a riot would be a felony. Those against the bill say it goes against what they protested for last year, which is police accountability and criminal justice reform. This bill is a retaliation against the Black Lives Matter movement. When North Carolina State University won championships and individuals took to the streets and things was damaged, you didn't see a bill like this come out. Activists say it would lead to unfair targeting of black and brown people. Law expert Sean Field says the way the bill's written does not violate any rights, but it gives enormous discretion to police officers on the ground to make arrests. It has less to do with the particular things that are being criminalized in this statute than it does the way in which the criminal legal system has worked in this country from its beginning. Activists worry it deter people from protesting because they'd worry acts like brushing up against an officer could lead to a felony charge. This bill, HB 805, is racist. It is the anti-Black Lives Matter bill. What's your response when people against the bill do say it's an anti-Black Lives Matter bill and that it is racist? Well, that, that's a ridiculous claim. Uh, this, this law applies to anyone who would go in and destroy property. Like so many Americans, I was outraged at what I saw at the U.S. Capitol, uh, the destruction that happened there. The bill uh, passed in the House. It'll now go to the Senate. When asked about the bill today, the governor said that those who take part in riots should be prosecuted and that they have made significant uh, progress this year in different ideas to address racial equity, but that this bill by itself does not include any of that. So he said that he would have an issue with that and wants to look at it a little bit more if he does ever have it at his desk to review. Reporting live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.